everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. This is a quick little addition slash correction for one of the VTuber showcases of X1 Daring. I forgot to show their intro video, and here it is. Sorry for the advertisement. Have a good day. X1 Daring. Hey, I'm X1 Daring. I play video games. One of them is I'm checking sure. me out in the background. I can see it. Sing karaoke. I stole the devil's underwear. And much more. Ah! The chemicals tickle my brain and I feel amazing. <laughs> Get that. Nice. So, uh, yeah. Feel free to check out my YouTube channel. X1 Daring, VTuber Idol. Give that subscribe button a kiss today. Very fun. Like, I, want you, I wanted to mention this. I wanted to show this because they deserve to have this being shown. Thank you again, X1 Daring, for being a part of the showcase. Now going into the things that were happening at the Nidisanji booth when it came to the figures. Originally, they had posted that it was $198.29, and then they took off the pricing. I don't know why. Under supervision, under revision, maybe the prices were too high. May maybe they sold out. Maybe they didn't. I don't know what was going on. Seems kind of strange. They aren't announcing it only to cancel them already. Unsure. Someone pointed it out. Figure I'd share. Full hat moment. Creators are going way worse than their estimations. Decided to hide the price. So people enter the page to check. Probably one of those things. Yeah. Probably just trying to get them by having them check the, uh, the way things are and having them go through there. And of course, people pointing out that the actual figures are showing up. You have Tsuki no Mito and you have Ken Mochitoya, life-size statues. Those are the other two. First two are Shuy Shuyamino or Shuyamino and Ilira, Ilira Pandora. So those are the two that popped up and it's like, uh, make it so that people actually want to show up. No one can deny that they're good quality, but you can expect figures you carry you through AX. Or you, what were they thinking? Yeah, it's not going to carry you through AX. It's not, it's absolutely not. That's not the way it works. That's not the way any of this works, of course. And then you have, you know, Yago stuff popping up. But here's Tsuki no Mito looking very, very nice. Look at the quality. Of course, she's stuck in front of freaking um, Luca. Why? In front of Luca. But still, that is some good quality figures. That is not cheap. I will give them that. That is not cheap. That's expensive. But that's not going to carry you through the whole convention. At least not in my opinion. It is very well done. But of course, you have other ones like Hollow Life that also have very well done full-scale figures of Suisei, Pecora, and, of course, Gura. So all of those were full-scale figures during Holofest. So, yeah, they, they used Tsuki no Mito to beat them, of course, but still, they did it. They did it properly. And, of course, the closer look of uh, Ken Mochitoya, not looking amazing, but actually, not bad, actually. Not bad. Like, the, the fingers look kind of weird. It's bending in a weird way but everything else looks like it's done pretty well i'll give them that whoever made these these figures kudos to them that mito statue is perfect it's missing her gas mask mito turns adh ahdh into a strength as a streamer adhd i'm guessing adhd as hdmi was pointed out disability group as the excellent choice so yeah it's too late though i would say ken mochi is interesting choice for the life scale figure display in there it is an interesting choice and it a lot of people believe it's too little too late but i mean something was done I'll give them that. Right now, we're going to be talking about certain missed opportunities that uh, Nidhi Sanji had and they didn't really capitalize on. Uh, because the in-person concert was canceled, they could have at least set up a few monitors to have some meet and greets or have some moments where, you know, there's chat between the livers and their fans. That probably would have brought a lot of attention because if you remember the Hololive booth and the Vishojo booth and the one that Doki Bird was at, all of it had, you know, interactions between livers and fans. And that brought people there. It didn't cost any money. I mean, it cost them some money, you know, preparing the stuff. And that's probably why Nidhi Sanji didn't do it. But it would have been nice and it would have probably bought more attention to him. Here's the thing, though. It costs money. The yacht doesn't fill itself. All drugs aside, I don't think the liver and what's left of the management has the right to make such a decision, even if they wanted to, which is sad. Uh, Thailand is the main area of sisters, though. I'm sure they, like, ended too much. On the other hand, Super Chat stats tell that they don't punch on us like before. Should have been an afterthought of a canceled concert. But yeah, the fact is it was a canceled concert. They expected the concert to bring them all the publicity. It didn't work. So they didn't have a, a plan B. They didn't have a plan B. Um, the concert was plan A through Z, pretty much. Out of context, I'm tired and have a lot of sisters who are ignorant about drama. Many are still like the company's B-sack. Uh, 
Singapore blows up. You're basically, basically saying that, you know, in Southeast Asia, it's still very popular. Not a lot of people came to Virtual Rhapsody, but it's still very popular in Southeast Asia. Another chance that they missed is having, you know, uh, holding the concert at the event, that at the actual, you know, booth, or at least a mini concert, some kind of sneak peek of what's going to be happening. A, I don't know, even having like a trailer for it would be good. But they're not going to do that, of course, because one very, very important thing that you have to remember and look at is they don't want to do something for free. That's not going to bring them money. That's why they're going to have something on their main channel, because that will bring them money. That's what they want. They want the Super Chats. They want that since they're not going to be making money off of the ticket sales anymore. Super Chats is the next best thing. That's just something that corporations do. And Nidhi Sanji is very, very corporate. Now covering what happened with the Dodgers and Hololive. It was Hollow Live Night, July 5th, last night at uh, Dodger Stadium. And it had Gura, Pekora, and Suisei as the, you know, representatives from Hollow Life being there. Now, Gura had the pleasure and honor of singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game. This is something that Riku Tazumi wishes that their people could do, but he is not a good leader. So, of course, it's not going to happen. Of course, how people reacted. Riku probably is the next recruitment requirement can you topple the short gura no uh, not only subs count but also you'll see an official baseball game huh i can't just can't man uh, six years of hollow fan never crossed my mind that the shark will sing in an american television big screen so effing hilarious and here's what they're talking about here is the actual ball game singing hopefully it doesn't get uh, copyright struck but here we go Singing along! She's saying the full thing! He's saying the full thing! For God's sakes, this is so lovely. The fact that they sang along with her is amazing. I love it. I just love it. I love seeing this. It is just, oof. It is what happens when you treat your talents right, when you actually try to promote them properly, you know, blown away that you can hear the stadium sing along. Cover six some big swings with this collab, and they certainly seem to have paid off. They hit it out of the park, more so than I would have predicted, to be honest. Don't want to dismiss the success of the collab. I think it was very successful considering the line for the special merch wrapped around the block. The whole stadium, and it took all night to finish, but also everyone at the ball game sings Take Me Out to the Ball Game no matter what. Of course, but the fact is, it's it still was Gura doing it. It still was all this, you know, all the stuff that you want to see. So Gura buff is real. Dodgers win. So the Dodgers won. Nice. Tactical Shark is evolving. Made the Dodgers win. And here we go. Tiny go Yago. It's Yago, Yago, Yago here. Best girl here. She saw how long the line was for merch and went to his seat. Apparently, the line wraps around the stadium. I've moved two feet since the last update. Uh, it's just, it's amazing. Who would have thought promoting and investing in your talents would drive merch sales, huh? Definitely not Kurosanji CEO, that's for certain. Around the stadium, absolutely insane. Hopefully this opens up more, some more opportunities for them in the US-Canadian market. I think it will. And of course, as a live, as people, you know, being lifelong Dodger fans, here you have um, Suisei, Pekora, and Gura talking during the, the, the whole situation. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Time for Dodger baseball. They said it. The line goes around the freaking block. <clears throat> Look at this. How you promote VTubers in sports. Look at the Hollow Live line at Dodger Stadium right around the block. Hundreds, maybe, yeah, like hundreds of people. You take a look at this. Look at this. People are, are for, you know, Dodger baseball stuff. The Dodger collab merch, like the, the full official store. People were freaking going around the stadium. This guy was, you know, putting everything out there. According to the staff who had been here 20 years, this is the longest merch line they've ever seen. It wraps around three quarters of the stadium. Good luck. It continues on. Post game, the line for merch still wraps around approximately 50% of the stadium. The back of the line is far behind the back of the photo, wraps around the front and then to the front to the next. This is look from the top. You have a lot of people just wanting to get merch. And it makes sense when you think about it. It does make sense. It is a rare collab with Hololive and with anyone else. And of course, um, 
headcanon what happened at Dodger Stadium between the two, because Gun Run was there too. Gun Run was there for Hollow Live Night, pretty much because it was a Dodger game, most likely. And it was, you know, a baseball game. A lot of people do love baseball. It was during the time of Anime Expo, which Gunman was going to be there because, you know, supporting his V Shoujo girls and guys, uh, supporting V Shoujo fam. And yeah, Kurosandi is like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> They're just there together. Now, who knows? They they most likely never met. It's a humongous stadium. But, you know, you, you can have the head cannon spinning around if you want when it comes to that. And a continuation of what I was talking about. We have uh, Nidhi Sanji. We have Life Size Click Statue. Hollow Life, hold my beer. They have the full drone show it is at pecora had freaking suisse a full-on drone show for goodness sakes here's the drone show shown by this person here the drone started out there having shooting stars it's actually kind of nice i like drone shows like that hollow live right there hollow live night that's actually pretty cool that like, actually to, to program these things is kind of freaking amazing gura 0620 pecora 0112 suisse 0322 i guess that those are their birthdays ah oh, there we go yep World domination by Hollow Live, of course. Dodger, ba Dodger baseball. They have the Pecora thing, basically everything. It's re-showing itself, but it has actual movement. Look at this. Look at the actual movement, for God's sakes. It has movement. Be surprised. I'm, I'm actually surprised they did all this, but I'm really happy that they did. And then Gura with the ball spinning, her throwing the ball, and then Suisse. It's just, ah, I love it. I'm glad. I'm glad that they were able to do this. I'm really glad that they were able to do this. And of course, as all of this happens, you're going to have people that are going to be disliking the stuff that's happening there take me out to the ball game tonight we made history thank you uh, frisco thank you for anime wonder i'm sobbing tears of joy thank you my community for cody um and it's like uh let's go let's go writers uh twinning bro tonight we made history basically there this little indie vtuber did it first oh okay freaking okay she's trying to take credit she says he did it first I mean, it's fine do it have fun um but don't don't try to one up somebody don't try to it doesn't look good for you. It doesn't look good for you. Very proud that this little VTuber was able to do this for themselves at, at their own little game, their, their own game that, you know, the home game, whatever. She beat Hall Live Well. Thank you, VTuber News Drop, for mentioning me in your presentation on live. Absolute honor. I'm grateful for the chance to be newsworthy. I look forward to get more stories. Yeah, it's good that she was able to do that, but it's not a competition. Of course, sometimes you have to do it that way in order to get yourself out there, but it doesn't bode well. Uh, indie grifters will be indie grifters. Wonder if they're behind the post themselves on VT would not surprise me. <clears throat> Frisco Rough Riders, a minor league baseball team at Texas League, double A affiliate. Doesn't matter if it's minor league or not. You're, I, would, I have never done something like that. So any indie that gets to do that is amazing in my book. But still, don't. It looks really bad. You just turned anything positive into a negative now because you made it look really bad that way. Just don't do that. Just don't do that. Just let let a win be a win. Enjoy your win, but don't go and be this kind of person. You know what I mean? This is one of the reasons why I say that harassment is never good. No matter how much you like or dislike somebody, you should never go and try to harass them or belittle them, demean them, etc. Apparently, someone uh, got hit, got to him on Avanta on his, uh, his stream, and he had a little bit of an overreaction, a little bit of a stressful reaction. Who knows what stress he's under? I don't know what stress he's under. He's a much larger VTuber than myself, so let's take a look. It's like you need to be observed since you're so special. What the fuck? Wait, I recognize your profile picture. Look at that. How come you're talking all this shit when you when, when you when you were cracking jokes on when you were cracking jokes on X earlier? What's that about? Wait, where's that? Where's that? Where's that kindness energy? Where's that kindness energy? As a matter of fact, most of you, most of you are so nice to me on Twitter or vice versa, and then you switch it up. You 180 on me on fucking on fucking YouTube. What's going on? What's going on? Why don't you stay consistent? Why don't you stay consistent? One moment you're all nice. Oh my That's gosh, congrats. That's gonna be a joke. LOL, you're so funny, Croshi. And then and then on stream you're I just like, oh, well, value. gotta be like the rest of the crew. Sorry, Croshi, you're quirky. You're you're a specimen. You need to be observed. Oh oh really? Oh really? Huh huh? That's news to me. You weren't saying that 30 minutes ago on fucking X, formerly known as Twitter. Where's that energy? Where's that? Where's that? Where's all that kindness? Where's all that kindness? What happened to that? Yeah, yeah, huh, huh. All the laughing emojis are being brought out, being called out. Feels crazy, don't it? Feels crazy, don't it? Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. It's our love language? Oh, oh, really, really, really? Motherfucker out here calling me unstable. Calling me unstable. I got an excuse. I got a pretty goddamn good excuse. I go on one corner of the internet, I'm being loved, praised. Sometimes I'm attacked. I go to another corner, I'm being attacked from all angles. I gotta constantly stay on high alert. It's fight or flight, 100% of the time here. I gotta stay on edge. Man, man. Motherfuckers think I got anxiety problems with how much, with how, with how on guard I am all the time. Man, man, man. I'm just living my life. Oh, you're canceled, Vanta. Oh, Vanta, I can't believe you said that. Oh my gosh, Vanta, you hate this. Vanta, you hate that. Oh my gosh, this group, how could you hate them? You can't put them in a box, Vanta. Like, Jesus, dude. Jesus. I can't say three words without getting thrown under the bus. Thrown under the bus. It's a moving bus, too. I'm getting run over. Those tires are heavy. I'm dead. See, that's pretty messed up. Overreaction is some troll chatter, but the reaction tells me it's very stressed, which is causing the lash out, or it's an issue that's been sitting for a while, just been building up until now. Either way, it's not good. It's not 
funny. It's not like, ha, 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 I'm doing this to somebody. It's not, no. No matter how much I dislike the organization, I don't dislike the livers, and I don't feel that any of them deserve what's happening right here. Streamers chat will tease and bully the streamer whenever they can, but still show a lot of support in other platforms, mainly because it's easier to get a reaction during live stream. If it's stress-related, then I do hope Vanti gets some relaxing time to de-stress. I hope so, too. Current situation with Expo, people are asking him questions about it. Nidhi's general situation, probably pressure from management, pressure from all sides, can make you do this, and I do hope that they feel better soon. An update on the saga with uh, Fillion that's been happening right now. Uh, Komado, the creator of one of Fillion's other models, has stated they were also never contacted in regards to merchandising. So she's ticking off everybody pretty much, all of her former artists. Edit, there's a tweeter for those avoiding Twitter. There's also been rumors that her other model wasn't even purchased and was one she found on VR chat. She allegedly said in the past that she didn't pay anything for it. Now, let's see what they have to say. Komado Booth, uh, on, because she's, she sells her stuff on Booth, uh, we have received numerous inquiries regarding a specific VTuber. Regarding this matter, we do not permit the use of the Mint sales model, which is that kind of like a smaller model, like the, the smaller model she uses, uh, as an original character for sales of plush toy or for distribution of skins in a racing game. Please follow the terms of use when using the avatar. Looks like it's going to be one expensive mistake Philian and Myth have made. Hopefully they'll work something out or sell it in court. From what I have heard, at least with the original Jindo one, she's talking directly to Jindo. From what I've heard, from the sources that I have, she's talking directly to Jindo to try to fix the situation, the main situation, compensate them or have some kind of royalty agreement or something like that. We don't know. It's behind the scenes, but they're working on it. Saying, honestly, it may get downvoted, but I think she deserves whatever the outcome of this is. I mean, she's had God knows how long to get her own model made and at the very least differentiate it from the original like Fidal did or Vidal with Nero. There's really no excuse for why she could have forgotten. She certainly makes enough to buy the rights to make a deal of the owner. And here, I thought Mythic Talent was supposed to handle the behind-the-scenes parts for her. I think that's what she expected, but she didn't get it. But still, it's way too long to wait for this. It's way too long for wait to this. And that's that's going to be an expensive mistake. It's going to be already, it's already an expensive PR mistake. There's already a lot of people covering this. It's a bad PR move. And it's gone. Uh, Good Smile deleted the Fillion tweet. Uh, Jingo, the original creator, because it got community noted, and it's gone. Hope that after this, Philly now consider commissioning her own VTuber avatar. It's a long time coming. Honestly, she's been popular for so long. I don't even know she didn't own the avatar. Think for her own good long term, it's best they actually acquires one sooner than later. Absolutely the best thing she could do is acquire one for herself. Even if it looks similar to her old one, make something new. And also, for God's sakes, you've already had a lot of merchandise with other people. Compensate them for it. I'm not saying, like I said... I'm not attributing malice to things that could be uh, explained with ignorance. I'm very ignorant of the way a lot of business things work. I'm sure Fillion expected Mythic to cover a lot of these things. They didn't, unfortunately, so that's what happens. Don't know why, but this gives me a bad feeling. Good Smile's in the right to delete it. Don't get me wrong, but I get the Phineas one end gracefully. And even if it does, Good Smile might be less willing to work with indies or other Mythic talents due to this. Or it'll make them double check. Double checking would, will definitely be a good thing for Good Smile. I definitely take more precautions when working with indies and Mythic from now on like doing some more checks, making sure copyright is in order. They should have done that to begin with. It's not a free pass for Good Smile Company. They should have checked and made sure that there was something going on, like at least have it in a contract. Do you have the rights to this commercially? If they say yes, Good Smile protects themselves. That's what they should have done to begin with. Bit of a side note, monetization has happened for the Justice Girls. Of course, the reason why monetization didn't happen immediately is that YouTube does require you to have a certain amount of hours in there. So even if you have already all of the uh, the numbers when it comes to the subscribers, you have to have over 4,000 watch hours. They did that pretty quickly because of the fact that they are very popular. And even in their intro, probably their, their first freaking uh, live, live stream, they probably had all the watch hours they needed. And then after that, you just have to go through the process of waiting for uh, YouTube to go through the whole monetization process it's a lot quicker for agencies and for corporations i'm pretty sure so that's one of the things funds for cc's 4090 we need to also pay back the medical bill she left us at debut of course it didn't happen oh yeah the, the part where we were passed out where we were knocked out by her finally I could throw money at them throw oh my god there's going to be so much so many so much money so much money is going to get thrown at them absolutely very happy that they're having this situation because they deserve it they're actually all of them whether it be nidhi sanji or them are good creators it's just in this case, Hololive actually supports them, unlike Didi Sanji. So very happy for Iron Mouse being able to fill this many people for her her situation for the whole thing that she was doing. Absolutely insane. Thank you all so much for coming to the panel. I had so much fun. Thank you so much for supporting us every year and taking time out of your day to come and see us. 
Love you guys. We keep working hard so we can make more memories. Remember, she started out as a very small VTuber. Now, look at her. She can fill these whole sections up. Happy for her. Of course, here's one thing that she has uh, with um, with Sea Dog VA. She has very good friendship with him. You know, so let's see what happens here. Are you my words? Listen, <laughs> I know that my wallet won't survive, okay? Just one thing? They're chanting cinnamon roll. Just one cinnamon roll? No, this. Guys, I, 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 I might have seen what was at the booth just to like see, and it was mostly, it was mostly Hello Kitty, you know? I, it who? has to be at least who? once, and see, it's easier for you to, be, then it's easy, because there's only like one or two cinnamon roll things. <laughs> So yeah, they, they're, they're having nice little conversation back and forth, nice little back and forth there. It's amazing. Of course, right here again, Tana was so crowded that the line went around several blocks. That's one of the things that happens in Anime Expo if you don't have like the Premier Fan Pass, which allows you to get in no matter what, as long as you're there before the, the, uh, the line closes, you should be able to get in. Otherwise, you have to be there several hours before an event like this in order to make it in. And I'm so very glad for her that she was able to have this kind of amazing showing, at, which is kind of a vindication of all the hard work that she put into this. A bit of a meme culture here that we always have on this channel. I'm not going to lie, the past month has been pretty depressing to watch. I just hope he can move on to better opportunities soon. My dumb self, hope that things may improve for my Oshi. They will once they get better management. I'm not even going to be the one to say once they leave that sinking yacht. Of course, when they leave the sinking yacht, it's going to get better. But if they don't want to, I hope they get better management. So while they're in the company that they want to be in, because a lot of people enjoy being in Niji Sanji, just bad management. Once they get better management, then yeah, things are going to get good. And the next one is Hololive with the baseball collab, having a whole freaking uh, drone show. Meanwhile, at Niji Expo, all empty. Of course, this could be cherry picked photo. But still, Hollow Life had a freaking collab with a baseball team, filled up a state, not filled up a stadium, at least filled up the merch area. But still, it's like it's insane. It's like every time Nidhi's sister gloated, they have something bigger. They bragged that they were at the top. They both said that they had the right to bully others. Hollow Life always breaks beyond expectations. It goes even further beyond that. Concerts sold out, all these things, and Nidhi Sanji cancels theirs. Welcome everybody to Salvi's YouTuber Corner slash the VTuber Showcase that I like doing nowadays. Uh, Helix is the person that we're doing it today. Helix VA. They are a he, him. Uh, a Hoshi, number one Hoshiyomi. And going through their art, this is their VTuber design. Very nice design. I love it. Uh, singer, voice actor, editor, all these things combined. Uh, not the crying type, but Dodger Stadium, Hollow Live Night, drone show starting with multiple Sweet Say songs. Got me like, yep, got me happy. And this is their uh, Twitch side. Let's take a look real quick at one of their top clips. Just taking a look and seeing how everything is. This is of course, Lethal Company. Over here, over here, over here, over here. She done. <laughs> she did. She did. She gone. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. That is definitely unfortunate. She got she got gunned down. Un very unfortunate. Unfortunate set of circumstances. Uh, they are a full time VTuber. They are not a loot tuber. They want everyone to know that they are a runaway Galaxy Prince VTuber of the group Beat and Gumi. Primary content is in gaming, song covers, and voice work. Uh, they have a calm personality with bursts of energy and chaos, as you can see right there. Like to stream Gacha games, uh, Genshin, Wuwa, ZZZ, uh, League of Legends. TFT, Apex Legends, all that other kind of stuff. So they, they do a variety of different uh, games, of course. They do on stream, on Twitch mainly, which is what I'm showing you guys. Uh, they do not have a set schedule, but they do stream on EST evenings between 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. whenever it is that they decide to show up. So you can take a look at it. You can take a look at everything here and um, go and take a look at their channel, of course. They don't have to show your, their face, and that's why they like VTubing. That's one of the reasons I like VTubing. You don't have to show your face. That's one of the wonderful things. Uh, of course, when it comes to collabing, they say if, if the energies mesh well, then of course they will be willing to collab. Right now they're hosting a League of Legends amateur tournament. They want to be doing that in the future. They're going to be doing Space Shutter Smackdown, it's going to be called, on 720. More song covers, second Persona 3 cover coming soon. So they're doing a lot for their channel. They want to continue doing singing collabs with bigger VTubers. Me and friends formed the VTuber group Beat and Gumi, which is what the, the group that was mentioned before. Planning and organizing projects in everyone has been really fun. And that's what they want to continue doing in the future. Of course, take a look at this. And of, I hope you guys get to enjoy their content in the future. They do seem to be a very fun VTuber who has a very close relationship with their friends and want to have that 
be a part of their content, which is a wonderful thing to do. Thank you so much, Helix VA, for being a part of the showcase. And I do hope that others get to see the wonderful part that is your community and your channel. All for right now, of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now, because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.